Hello everyone. In this video I want to look at finding the domain and range of a function, specifically a quadratic function that's given to us. But what we have here, again it's quadratic because it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So if I'm going to find the domain and range For starters, the domain for a quadratic function, where in this case our a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 1, is automatically going to be all real numbers. Quadratic functions, by definition, are not, never going to have variables in the denominator or radical values, so we can assume that there aren't going to be any major restrictions, which means our domain is going to be all real numbers. And that's the symbol I've given you here. Or in terms of interval notation, that would be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Both of these mean the same thing. To find our range, we need to know where is the highest or the lowest point of this graph. Remember for quadratic functions, they're parabolas, which means they have a minimum or a maximum. Now to start, we look at the a value for our function. In this case, it's positive 1. Since it's positive, since the a value is positive, that means the graph will open up. In other words, the graph will look something like this, which means it has a minimum value or lowest point. In other words, if we know what that lowest point is, we can conclude that the range is everything above that point and including that point. So with quadratic functions, the best way to find the range is, is to determine the minimum or maximum value, and then use that to make your new range. So to find the, in this case, minimum value, we're going to use our vertex formula which is opposite of b over 2a, which will give you the x value of that vertex. Once you have that value, you put it back into the function itself to figure out the actual minimum or, or maximum, in this case minimum. So again, if I have x squared minus 2x minus 1, My a value is positive 1, my b value is negative 2. So according to my formula, the opposite of b is going to be positive 2 over 2a. So 2 over 2 gives me 1. So now to find my actual minimum value, I want to find what is f of 1, f being the original function. So putting 1 in there gives me 1 squared minus 2 times 1, minus 1, so I have 1, minus 2, minus 1, which gives me negative 2. So finally I have the vertex of <clears throat> 1, negative 2. So my minimum is 1, negative 2, which means Everything, <clears throat> everything in this function is bigger than or equal to the value of negative 2. Since we're talking about range, we're focusing on the y value. So if everything in the range is bigger than or equal to negative 2, we'll see our range y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 2 or as a, or in interval notation, we'll say from negative 2 as our lowest point to positive infinity. 
So we found our domain and range for a quadratic function, domain being all real numbers for any quadratic expression, any quadratic graph, range being identifying the maximum or minimum value, and then based on if the graph opens up or opens down, we make the appropriate interval.